Okay, time for another GED question of the day. Uh, let's go ahead and read this word problem together. Lolo Hardware sells a certain brand of carpet for $1.55 per square foot, while Less Less Hardware sells the same brand for $12.75 per square yard. Okay, great information, but what's the question? Which company offers a better price? on the carpet. Which company offers a better price on the carpet? Well, what are we being asked to do here? We are being asked to compare prices. Now, I have too many students who just take a look at these, go, oh, I can compare prices. That one's less. And they go, yay, that's the right one. Um, but the problem here, and hopefully you saw it, is that I cannot currently compare these two prices because they're not for the same amount. This $1.55 is per square foot, whereas this $12.75 is per square yard. Since I'm not looking at the same size, um, same amount of carpeting, I can't currently compare the prices. And so what I'm gonna need to do is I'm going to need to look at the rate for the same amount. Either they both need to be in square feet or they both need to be in square yards in order to compare them. If they're both in the per the same unit, uh, then I can easily compare the numbers and have them make sense. So let's do that. In order to do that, we have to know the relationship between square yards and square feet. Now, um, a lot of students think, oh my goodness, one square yard is three square feet. I totally know that. Um, but actually, you would be wrong. Now, one regular linear yard, a line that's a yard long, long, is definitely also three feet long. You're right there. But be careful. That is a linear measurement. It's along a line. If you're to turn that into a square measurement along a square, so let's draw a square, a square is two-dimensional. It's a yard or three feet this way if it was a square yard, and it's a yard or three feet that way in that dimension if it's a, a square yard. Um, so one square yard would not have three feet, but it would be three by three feet. Um, so one square yard would be nine square feet, and I have a whole video on that. You can go back and watch it um, from about four days ago if that confused you. But anyway, uh, now that I know that conversion, I'm going to go ahead and be able to compare these prices. So I think what I'll do is I have the $1.55 per square foot, and I can see that if it's $1.55 on that, $1.55 on that, $1.55 on that, $1.55 on that, I'm up here pointing at my square, by the way, $1.55 for this square, $1.55 for this square, $1.55 for this square. I'm going to end up paying that $1.55 nine times if I want to buy a yard. Nine times because there's nine of those individual foot squares inside of a yard. So 1.55 times nine means that that carpet company will cost me $13.95 per square yard. Okay, so low, low hardware sells it for $1.55 per square foot, yes, but the price when I look at that per square yard is $13.95. Now, less, less hardware has a price of only $12.75 per square yard. So who's got the better price? Well, the one who's cheaper per square yard. Less, less hardware is cheaper per square yard. And so uh, my answer here would be less, less hardware. Great. If you have any questions about that, drop them in the comments.